actually have had one accident since the opening of Spook Cave. There was a maintenance man, and he went by the name of Old Joe Smiley. He came in every morning around 8 to check the lights and was out by 9. Well, one morning he didn't come out. His friend and family got worried about him. They came in and found his boat capsized back by the Spook Cave wishing well. They started looking some more until they came across some spooky scratch marks, some weird handprints, and some more spooky scratch marks. They started looking some more until they came across old Joe Smiley. <laughs> Here's the largest lifeline in Spook Cave. Spiatus used lifelines to tell how, how old the cave is, and Spiatus has studied this lifeline to prove that Spook Cave is about 750,000 years old, which is actually pretty young for a cave. And as you can see, we will be going under one more lower ledge, not as, the not as low as the first 100 feet. But please just watch your hand and do not touch the ceiling because you do have some formation the stalactite is trying to grow.
way through here, if you do happen to get too close to the wall, you can lightly push off. But watch out, it does get a little muddy in some areas. Seven inches long, which means it's about 2,700. 